G'day viewers, uh, you may remember last week I made a short uh, in regards to a house that had solar um, but they still had massive power bills. Um, well, the solution I came up with that household was to retain their existing solar and add a bigger inverter. They had a three kilowatt inverter, but now we've gone to a five kilowatt inverter, um, which in Australia, or Perth, if you're single phase supply, then you are limited in most areas, uh, rural it's sometimes less, but in residential area like this, you are limited to a five kilowatt inverter capacity. Um, now typically you can only have a maximum of 6.6 .6 kilowatts worth of solar panels on that inverter and the reason for that is is that when you claim the government subsidy on the solar panels uh, you can only uh, claim 33% uh, oversizing on that solar inverter um, so that works out to 6.6 .6 kilowatts worth of solar panels but what I've done here is I've kept their old solar power system but I've used a solar edge inverter and I've added 6.4 kilowatts worth of new solar panels uh, so we can claim that government subsidy on the solar panels but I've retained their old solar panels and so now we've got a 5 kilowatt inverter with uh, 10 kilowatts of solar power on it. So a massively oversized single phase inverter which is gonna give them really good power on days like today where it's cloudy and overcast and early morning and late afternoon. Um, so what that involved me doing, which is, is a pain in the bum, not many people would do it and it's not always you know, worthwhile doing, but removing the old panels and fitting solar edge optimizers. So with solar edge, all the solar panels have to have an optimizer. Um, so I was uh, able to do that on the old panels. Uh, they've all got optimizers fitted to them now. And uh, that was probably the best solution for this house uh, because they can't have anything bigger than a five kilowatt inverter unless you go to you know a full off-grid system like in one of my other videos using Selectronic, uh, SMA Sunny Island uh, or if you have network protection you can do it with Victron and so forth as well um, and that is straight away you're talking 50 grand so this was a much cheaper alternative um, to still only have a five kilowatt inverter but to have the massive amount of solar so they're going to get really good solar production um, all the time and that's going to make a massive difference to their power bills so there you go if you've got an existing solar system and you're considering getting rid of it and upgrading then maybe consider your options of retaining your existing solar panels uh, which will save you a bit of money and they're not going to go to landfill or anything like that and um, it's uh, possibly going to help you with your solving your problem with your power bills and this is the best outcome for this family and um, hopefully that'll make a massive dent in their power bills so before you get rid of your old solar system just consider your options and um, solar edge is the best one for that because you can oversize them um, by 200 percent um, if you were to have a battery you can oversize them to 200% and still claim the subsidy on all the panels. But if you're not having a battery, you can only claim 33%. So in this instance, there is no battery, maybe later, but for now there's not. So um, that's why I've gone down that path. So hopefully I haven't confused the crap out of you. And uh, if you've got any questions, hit me up. Cheers.